Randy Meisner is an American musician who was one of the founding members of the Eagles. He was a bass guitarist and vocalist and was essential to the group's success. Born in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska in 1946, Meisner started playing music at a young age. He quickly developed a skill for the guitar and soon began performing in bands. It wasn't until 1971 that Meisner was invited to join the Eagles. The band was an immediate success, quickly becoming one of the most successful and popular groups of the 1970s. In addition to his bass playing with the Eagles, Meisner provided backing vocals and sang lead on several songs including Take It to the Limit and Peaceful Easy Feeling. After leaving the band in 1977, Meisner went on to have a successful solo career including the hit single Hearts on Fire. He also released some great albums including his 1980 self-titled album. Meisner was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1998 for his contributions to the Eagles. He has earned a lifetime of admiration for his contributions to the group, and music in general. In addition to his work with the Eagles, Meisner worked with other notable names such as the Beach Boys, Linda Ronstadt, Poco and the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. In recent years, Meisner has been residing in Las Vegas and remains an active musician. He has toured with various acts throughout the U.S. and has recorded new material. In 2010, Meisner made his claims to have been underpaid for royalties from the Eagles, though he ultimately settled with the band. Outside of music, Meisner has also been a talented songwriter and has written various songs for other artists. Meisner has been married twice with little success. His first marriage produced one daughter. In 2016, Meisner was involved in a shooting incident where an intruder was shot at his house. The incident was later ruled an act of self-defense. Meisner's personal life has been rocky in the years since his departure from the Eagles. His alcoholism caused him to be admitted to a hospital in 2016 due to health problems. Even so, Meisner has managed to stay active in the music business and remains a beloved figure in the rock and roll world. Meisner continues to make new music and tour when he can. He continues to be a sought-after guest performer for various concerts. In 2019, Meisner was inducted into the Nebraska Music Hall of Fame for his contributions to the industry. This was a great honor for Meisner and a well-deserved acknowledgement of his career. He is also an inductee into the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame for his collaborations with the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Meisner is the subject of numerous books and documentaries and was the focus of a tribute album title for the record, a tribute to Randy Meisner. Meisner has proven himself to be a versatile musician over the years, having worked in a variety of different genres including country, pop, and rock. Meisner's influence on the Eagles is undeniable. His contribution to the group's signature sound is still heard today. Meisner was also an integral figure in the formation of other prominent bands such as Poco and Barnstorm. Despite his troubled personal life, Meisner has been able to find success and his musical legacy is secured. He is responsible for some of the most iconic songs in the history of rock music and has touched the lives of millions of people worldwide. Meisner's influence is still felt today with artists such as Taylor Swift, John Meyer and the Zac Brown Band citing Meisner as an inspiration. 
As an ambassador for the Eagles, Meisner continues to carry the torch for the band.